All right. Hey, buddy. So I'm pretty sick and tired of something. And I reckon a few of you might be too. I'm sick and tired of sitting in a university lecture and not being able to give it my full attention. I am sick and tired of waiting in line to get my coffee and I have to pull this bloody thing out. I'm sick and tired of going to do the dishes in order to keep myself entertained and stave off the boredom. I need to have something playing in the background. I don't want to admit it, but at some level, my focus is trash. Now, if the task is intense, or if it's engaging, or the consequences are immediate, fine. It's easy to stay on track. But when the content gets a bit low yield, or it's sort of wandered off the path, or it's a little bit boring, or the consequence isn't immediate and it can be put off for a long time, well, it's pretty easy to get distracted. And if any of this resonates with you, then I reckon a few of you might have the same issue. To combat this, I've been doing a bit of reading. I have found a framework which I found really helpful in solving this issue. The book I got it from is called Path Through the Jungle by Professor Steve Peters. In this book, Professor Peters introduces us to the chimp brain, the human brain, and the computer. So the human, that's you. That's your rational self, your true self, we might say. It does have emotions. It's always underpinned by logic and reasoning. This self is solution focused, but it's a little bit slow to respond. Then there is the chimp. Now the chimp, he's an emotional little motherfucker. Chimp, he's quick to respond and he can overpower the human. His job is to be problem focused and his typical reaction is to remove or ignore that problem. Still, it is worth noting that the chimp's job is to alert you to danger and so he does have a role to play. Then there's the computer and this is informed by the beliefs of the chimp, it's informed by the beliefs of the human and it automates behavior. So let's go back to the university lecture. You're sitting there, you know the high yield content is coming, but it started to trail off a little bit. You start getting a little bit bored, and in walks that bloody chimp. The chimp has recognized the problem, boredom, and what's his solution? To ignore it or remove it. Now, he doesn't want to sit there bored, so he's not going to ignore the problem. Rather, the chimp is going to remove it, and it's going to remove it by getting you to do something more engaging. And what's that? Typically, it's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or whatever other vice you might have. But here's the thing, we know unequivocally that task switching is bad for you. And in fact, being bored is good for both creativity and learning, even though it's really hard to handle. And so when this happens, this is where your human needs to take over. At this point, you have two options. The first option, and that's if it is genuinely low yield or there will be zero benefit from doing that task, quit. Don't hang around, don't wait, just quit it. Unfortunately, this is rarely the case. But the second option, and that means if it's high yield, or it does actually have to get done, then you need to finish it, even if that is not engaging. The point here, and the benefit that I've derived from this framework, is it has made me aware of when my emotions, my chimp, are hijacking my focus. And despite the chimp's best effort to justify this distraction, it's absolutely not in my or anyone else's best interest, because it really isn't serving you. Now I know it's not easy, but it's worth it, and I'm definitely finding it's getting a lot easier. If you got this far, Thank you very much. I hope you got some value from it. Please like, subscribe. I know it's just a small channel at the moment, but we grow one click at a time. Have a fantastic day. Peace.